I have here two variables, each with a floating point number. 24.825 is assigned to variable A. 17.237 is assigned to variable B. And then I want to multiply those two together. So I have a variable C equals A times B. And I'm going to print using concatenation. The product is and string of C. And when I run that, this is what I get. The product is 427.908524999999994. Well, it seems like this should be, in my world of thinking, 427.908525. And the answer we're getting here is because of the way Python approximates floating point numbers. For all practical purposes, let's admit that this really is, if we round it off, would be 908525. But I want to display it that way. So what I can do is change the str here to a format method. I want to format C, and then I can tell it in a string how I want to format. I want to format this as a uh, decimal floating point. And to do that, I'm going to do a single quote, zero point, and then the number of places I want. Let's say we wanted those six places. I can do a 6F for floating point, close my string, close my parenthesis. I want to do another closing parenthesis to close my print statement. I'm going to save, and I'm going to run. And so now I'm getting the 427.908525, which is what I was expecting. So this simply says to format the value of C with six decimal places. What if I wanted this to be two decimal places? I can change that to a two, save, and run. And now I'm getting 427.91. So it rounds up or down based on the values. I can do the same thing in using placeholders for my print statement. So we can say the product is, I'm gonna do that placeholder zero. But here, after the zero, I'm gonna do a colon. And again, what I want is zero point, let's do three decimal places. I'll do 0.3F, close my curly bracket, close my string, and then say dot format. And what I wanna format here is the value of C. So I can combine the placeholder with the format inside that placeholder. Control S to save and F5 to start, and I get this first one here, the two decimal places, but here I get one of three, nine, zero, nine, which is rounding off this five up to the nine. So I'm doing the formatting here within the placeholder. Let's do another one. I'm gonna say D equals, um, 250. And now I'm going to print the value of D is, and again I'm going to use a placeholder of 0. This time I'm going to do 10D. Close my placeholder, close my string, dot format, and I'm going to put D there, and the, the left print for my print statement, and again, Control S to save, F5 to run, and again, the value of D is 250. But notice the spacing here on this output. What I said here was I want to put this into 10 spaces. I want to be able to contain 10 digits, and it truncates or puts spaces for those digits. And so I can precede a number using the letter D in the number of places I want. Let me do one more. And this is going to be E equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.67. Actually, I go 6, 7, 8. And kind of the same thing, I'm going to say print. The value of E is. We'll do a placeholder zero, colon, and this time I'm going to do a comma, quote, period, format, 
and we'll format E. Control S, F5. And notice what I'm getting here because the comma, it's putting comma separated, comma separator between the thousandth and hundredths place. We've got another variable here of F equals point seven five six and we can say the percent is and again we use a placeholder of zero colon and this time I'm just going to put zero point one which is make it zero point two percent We'll do our dot format, and here we're going to add in F. We'll do a Control S and an F5. And notice on this last one, I'm getting the percent is 75.60%. So the percent sign here is formatting this as a percentage, so multiplying it by 100 and adding a percent sign at the end. And since I, since I specified two decimals, it gave me a 0 0.60. And I can combine these so we can get print. And we'll go back to the value of E. The value of E is, and again, I'm going to do a placeholder of 0. And here, I'm going to use a 10 comma period 2 F. Close my placeholder, and I'm going to do a dot format of E. So I'm trying to do here is specify 10 digits on the front end using comma separators and then two decimal places. Let's see if that worked. And I've got an extra comma in here. Let me get rid of that. Control S, F5. And so now E has 10 decimal places total. So there's two spaces here, or a space here, and then our number. So it's counting the numbers and the, the comma and the period as 10 of our spaces. But I'm getting 12,000 with a, with a comma separator and then getting the dot six eight. We can also print using the format method. So I can print the value of C, that was our 427.909 as a string of 0 0.3 F. Close my quotes. Close the format method parentheses and the parentheses for the print method. And let's save and run. And so once again, we're getting just the print statement of the value of C formatted to three decimal places.